So this is a definite integration question in which limits of integration are from 0 to pi and we have sin square x by 2 minus cos square x by 2 as the integrand. Basically integrand involves trigonometric ratios. Now um, we know that integration and trigonometry even calculus and trigonometry they go hand in hand. So, we need to have the knowledge of trigonometric identities and that requires a lot of practice. So, we need to practice a lot of questions so that we know which identity to apply in which situation. Now, in this case, sin square x minus x by 2 minus cos square x by 2 is given. We have one identity of cos 2x which is cos square x minus sin square x but our angles are in the half angle form so we can make all the angles equal to half if instead of cos 2x we write cos x that is we are taking half of 2x so on the right hand side also we can take half of each angle so this becomes cos square x by 2 negative sin square x by 2 so in this integrand, this uh, integrand is not in the standard form as this. So let's make the standard form. Let's write it in the standard form. So for that, we can take negative sign common. So if we take negative sign common, signs are reversed in these terms. So this becomes cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. Now we have derived that cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 is equal to cos x. So this becomes negative cos x and limits of integration are from 0 to pi. Now integral of cos x is sin x. So this becomes negative sin x and limits of integration are from 0 to pi. So first we plug in the upper limit which is pi. So this becomes negative remains outside the bracket. So this becomes sin pi then negative sign then we plug in the lower limit so this becomes sine 0 now value of sine pi is 0 and value of sine 0 is also 0 so this is basically 0 so our final answer is 0